welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in heart to heart if you have to choose between me and the next chick mm -mm. let me help you out we're both going to choose her for you because I'm not somebody's option I'm not going to sit around and play second best for anybody I understand when you're in a dating phase you tend to date more than one person but if I'm like okay I'm serious about you I really like you and I'm telling you all the things that's encouraging you to be with me then I need to have cut off all the other people and given that attention to you I should not be telling you all the great things all the roses and the unicorns and telling the next person the same thing and then have you sitting there and basically telling you well you have to wait for me to make a decision between you and this other guy that's just not right and i find that it's happening a lot of times you know i understand social media the dating app it's almost easy especially in my opinion for a man because there's so many women that are single and there's so many more women than there are men so you know for men who are dating right now it's like they have more options more easily genuinely single ready man a man who is working on himself a man who is practicing you know his relationship with god and whatever you're looking for those are hard to come by versus a man in my opinion there's a lot of women that are doing the work on themselves we're doing counseling we're in the gym we're working on our relationship with god we're working on our relationships with ourselves with our kids with our family with our friends like we're actually filling ourselves up so yes I can understand why it may be a hard decision at times when you have most of you may have two women that you meet and they both are equally as desirable to you but if you come across me and that happens please please by all means go ahead with her and I tell you this because I've been in that situation already I wasted months of dealing with people like this if you really like a person you're going to believe what they're telling you. You're going to hold on to every little word that they're saying, even though their actions may not be showing it. You want you have so much, so much hope in you because the other stuff that they're telling you is is it's making you feel good. It's giving you that that feel good emotion. It's running all through your body, and you're like, okay, if I'm just a little bit more patient. And I even had guys tell me that if you be a little bit more patient, you need to be a little bit more patient, making it like I was the problem. You need to be more patient. You, you're getting a little out of hand. Like, stop asking about what's going on. Like, let me take my time and do what I have to do to detach from this, this situation, detach from talking to these people. You know, I'm not used to just having one woman. And, like, basically trying to play the sympathy card on me as well as saying that I was to blame because I was too impatient. So, no. Men and women, this is for, you, for both of you. If you are in a situation where you're dealing with somebody who has options and they're letting it be known to you, um, even if you just suspected that's what's going on and they're not being honest to you, remove yourself. Because nothing feels worse than knowing that someone else is chosen over you. Because if you're not strong enough, which no matter how strong you are, the questions are always going to come to you. Why wasn't I good enough? Why didn't you choose me? What, what did I not do enough for you, for this person? Um, then you start blaming yourself for your standards. Maybe my standards are too high. Maybe me, you know, having a relationship with God was the problem. Maybe me being more conservative was the problem. Because I see that, you know, he seems to have more fun over there or she seems to have more fun with him. Like, no matter what it is, you're going to start to nitpick yourself, even though there's nothing wrong with you. It's just, it was that person's choice. But you're going to nitpick yourself apart because you're going to feel like it must have been something wrong with me in order for them to choose the other person and not me. And another thing is if you're a good person, they don't want to let you go. They're never going to want to let you go fully. So they're going to go and choose the other person who may be doing more than you're willing to do, whatever that is. But choose that person 
because they're not ready to get to your level yet. You know, maybe they're not ready to have a relationship with God. Maybe they're not ready to settle down and get married when you want to get married. They don't want that. They want the person that still wants to have fun and the person is going to let them do whatever they want to do. Maybe you are going to, you expect more from them. You expect their honesty and you expect conversation and you expect for them to respect you and things like that. And they don't want to do that. But the other person is easier. It's like, oh, well, this person doesn't expect all that. So because you're a good person, they know that and they know that you are deserving of what you want, but they don't want to give it to you. They're going to still go and do their thing, but come back to you and keep on telling you about how amazing you are, how if they can do things over, they would choose you. Don't listen to it. I'm telling you, all it is is just a way to test your temperature to see how you're still feeling about them so then they can make sure that you're still on ice while they're figuring out what they want to do they're having their fun and then when they're ready they'll come back when after they're done partying doing all the things they want to do then they want to come back to you and they expect you to be that placeholder waiting for them to come back don't be that fallback on person it's easy to fall into that spot i know right now you're thinking i would never do that let me tell you, it's so easy to fall into that, that spot. It's so easy. It, you don't mentally say, I'm, I'm going to be somebody's backup plan. Let's be real. But if you're already getting attached to this person and you know this person has other options and they are trying to choose between which way to go and you're still standing there and no matter what, you're always there, you're going to fall into that spot naturally. So make sure that you are clear and sure what's going on. And if something doesn't seem right, you remove yourself. Do not stay. Do not wish for things to be better. Do not try to make something out of nothing. Do not try to paint a different picture than what is being presented in front of you. Because you will end up being that person that is maybe the last option. Or you'll end up being that person that's an option in general. You're not an option. So... Know your worth. If somebody got to choose between you and someone else, let them choose that other person because you don't want to be that person uh, down the road where you find out they're, they're still talking to that other person behind your back even if you two are together or cheating on you with that person or decide later on they want to leave you to go be with that person. You know what I'm saying? So pump the brakes. If something does not seem right or if they're telling you that they have you and someone else or a few of you, you help them by saying, hey, no hard feelings. You may go in the car and cry. That's okay. But you remove yourself from that. It's going to save you so much heartache down the road, so much wasted time because they will waste your time. People will waste your time if they know you care too much. So be careful with that. Let it go and move on. But you let me know what you think. We'll keep the conversation going. All I ask is that you're polite and courteous in the comment box because we are not here to be mean and nasty to one another. This is my opinions and my experiences. You can have yours. You can share them with me. You can choose not to. All I'm just saying is you don't have to be rude. So let's go ahead and, and converse. We'll keep the conversation going and we will talk next time. Bye.